So this funky monkey, this is a uh, wonderful prairie species of prairie grass. This is called uh, the porcupine grass, or Hesperus stipa spartia. Hesperus stipa. Uh, also has been called stipe. I just lost one of the florets. The florets fall off. Look at the size of these things. Goodness gracious. This is, uh, you know, the, the old saying is that it's an absolute pain to walk through a uh, prairie with, with uh, just this because of its, because of its craziness. See here they have these short stalks on the spikelets here. And the, the, the glooms on the spikelets, let's see if we can pull some of these off and talk about what we're looking at here. So on the base here of the spikelet, we have these glooms. And the, the lemmas already fell out of this, so this is why it's a great example. So mostly in, in, in grasses you have oftentimes these two glooms. But in this, the glooms are going to be glabrous, which is hairless. Uh, they, they often have like five to seven veins. Um, these glooms can be, you know, up to four centimeters long. Uh, so I had to look that up, actually. <laughs> So this is the, the lemma, just pulled it out of those glooms, remember the, the two bract-like features on the base. So this lemma is, is, uh, is hairy, and it's, um, it can grow up to like 20 centimeters long, 20 centimeters long, look at this, look at this, and it's, it looks like a javelin, it's, uh, it's a little rough feeling, it's, it's twisted, um, I mean it's, it's pretty, pretty amazing. And so what happens is this thing drops. See, look at this here. Drops. Bloop. Bloop. So that didn't drop like I wanted it to, but oh well. And then these hairs, it's gonna have these, these hairs at the base. Um, these hairs at the base. So, uh, so the stems, let's grab the stems here. So the leaves often have this bluish gray, green, this bluish green and then this really nice light green on the comb or the stem, the comb, or the stem. Uh, the sheath is open, the sheath is open. Uh, oftentimes it's uh, the, the leaf, if you can see here, the leaf is rolled up. Involute, I think is, is the name that's often being used uh, when, when you have that kind of rolled, um, that rolled edges of the leaf. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so again, let's, let's take a look here at this long, this long, uh, the, the sheath here, the, I mean, the, the ligule here, the ligule is, is pretty stiff. Um, the ligule is kind of stiff here, uh, especially when it gets close to the sheath and then a little papery when it, when it goes up. And it's, it's quite long, actually. The ligule is, is pretty long up to, uh, you know, four millimeters or so. I actually have to look that up. I'm not sure how, how long it is, but this looks longer than four millimeters. I mean, maybe five, six, or seven millimeters. Some of these, when you start going up, they, up if you look, some of these ligules, never really looked at the ligules until now. They get pretty long. Pretty long, look at that, if you can see it. Look at that, pretty long. So again, the, the, uh, the sheaths are usually pretty smooth and hairless all the way down, maybe a little scabrous in places, but um, it might get a little bit of hairy, I think, a little bit of hairs as we go up, but but usually it's pretty smooth. Um, so yeah, uh, cool grass, porcupine grass, or uh, Hesperus stipa uh, spartia. Hesperus stipa, again, sometimes called stipa spartia. Uh, stipa comata, com comata, comata, comata. Stipa comata is, is, so I'm on the southern tip of Lake Michigan now, and this is, this is um, our common porcupine grass. And when it gets, uh, but comata is, when you start going up north, it's a smaller, much smaller version of this. Um, much smaller version of this. Uh, look at that again. So, so one thing I want to point out quick before we end this video is that when it gets, when it gets, as this drops to the ground, when it gets wet and humid, this coils. And when it coils, it, it turns and digs into the soil. And, uh, and actually it's sticky too. So this sticks on your clothes with these sharp long ons. They stick to your clothes. And so, um, so walking through a field of this is very unfun, uh, but it's still f f just a cool grass. Neato. So there's really not any grasses that could be confused with this. And that's why this is a good grass to learn if you don't know it already. So it's got this gigantic on, this gigantic on on the lemma. Look at how big this thing is. So I was walking, I saw this, this huge Hesper stipa. I mean, look at this thing, it's ginormous. This is a big one compared to the one we were looking at before. 
Look at the size of this thing. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at the size of those. Well, don't want these stuck on your old pants, do you now? <laughs>